My name's Clive and I'm the winemaker at Nautilus Estate. I'd like to guide you through a tasting of our Pinot Noir clonal wines. Nautilus has been making Pinot Noir for over 10 years now and we've used this exercise in the winery to see how different clones can influence our wine style. We also thought it would be a fun exercise to show our customers, so in 2008 we bottled small amounts of individual clonal wines prior to blending. You should have three glasses in front of you, containing from left to right, 667, 777 and the Atarangi claim. You should also have a data sheet with some additional background information. These wines were made in our Pinot cellar, which you can see behind me, and they're all from the same vineyard and were picked on the same day. They have been taken from old barrels, so the differences between them can be attributed to the clonal influence and not an oak influence. Please take some time to taste the wine and think about both the aromas and the structural elements such as acidity and tannin. Please also then discuss the differences and perhaps see which one is your favourite. We typically see with the 667, fragrance and a nice floral character with a soft and silky palette. With the 777 we see more ripe red berries, a little bit of spice and a fine tannin structure. And then with the Atarangi it has the darkest colour, a bit more complexity, higher acidity and a higher tannin level as well. So now what I'd like you to do is mix all three together. Have a try this. Usually we find that is the best wine. We take the elements from the individual, individual components and blend them together to provide layers of complexity. And that shows some of the art of blending and winemaking. Now we can try the 2008 Nautilus Pinot Noir. The three wines you've tried represent 40% of this blend, with three other vineyards making up the remaining 60%. Each of these components contribute layers of complexity to the final wine style. You can also see oak playing a little part as well. I hope you've enjoyed this exercise and learned a little bit more about Pinot Noir players.